Welcome to my tutorial, Paint Your Strengths, Weaknesses, Opportunities, and Threats. So we're going to be working on one of my favorite projects, painting an accurate picture of me. So I've actually chosen to start off with my weaknesses. One of my weaknesses is that I'm not a very good planner, but I did have this idea for my project. Somehow I ended up at Michael's. It's always a good sign, right? Michael's was a success, if in case you were wondering. I've got some paint brushes and some paints. They were only 70 cents, so I was like, ah! buy them all. So let's see how this turns out. All right, now that we've spent a sufficient amount of time on my weaknesses, we're gonna jump right in and add some color. Blue, what that's gonna represent is over the past year, I have realized that I'm a good listener. Just gonna dab a little bit of that like great listening skill to the tip of our picture right here. I'm just gonna let that blue, my good listening, bleed right over into my wonderful personality. So one of my key strengths, I believe, is being a friend to everyone. Some actually might call me a social butterfly, right? And the social butterfly color, that's going to come through in this painting as this uh, orange. Feel free to put that wherever you think social butterflies would land. Look at your painting. Where are you at right now? What is it missing? I'm noticing something that I need is to mention the amazing opportunities that I do have right now and then getting this amazing education that will help me in my future. So we're just gonna add a little bit more colored blues and purple, but there are times where I hold myself back or I criticize myself. I'm just gonna add some of that envy and jealous into this picture. I'm gonna give it a nice stroke of green. All right, so I think I'm ready for you guys to finally see the finished product. Uh, trial one, and I think it's important to mark your progress. <laughs> <laughs> oh goodness, save us all. Another strength I apparently have is I don't give up. So that's positive. Sometimes you have to completely abandon what you're doing and do something else because what you're doing isn't working. So we're going to completely ditch these brushes and just work with the sponge for now. The next step to finish this painting is to acknowledge the things around me that will stop me from my success. I'd like to categorize these uh, threads into just one big lump and label them distractions. My limited skills and knowledge, the current demands on my schedule with family, friends, boys, calling, social media, psych, I decided to use red. Happy distractions. Little happy distractions. Once you feel you have enough distractions painted, uh, stop. Just get it out of your life. So we're gonna stop right there. That looks like enough distraction. I think I'm ready to show the finished product. Now this is trap two. Here it is. It's a beautiful hummingbird. Strengths, weaknesses, opportunities, and threats are inside the hummingbird. Now there's the vibrant 